So, Eamon O'Carroll, uh, welcome to Bradford Bull. You're finally here. Uh, how yeah. did it feel now to have the colours on and to have your feet on the table? Yeah, really good. Really happy to be here. I landed in the country two weeks ago. So I was lucky enough Jason came and picked me up from the airport and showed me around the facility. I'm really, really impressed. So good to finally be here. Now you've started, you can get your feet properly under the table and start to plan things. How exciting a time is it now to see all these jigsaw pieces coming together? Yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. You know, I think we're in a good spot anyway. I think that was shown towards the back end of last year. I think the club's in a, in a really good spot. So I'm excited to come in and, and put my stamp on it as well, but build on what, what's already going really well here. We're here at Tom, the training facility. What have you made of the facility you've got available to you? It must make it easier knowing you've got all these different things in a building, you know, ready for training. The players have got everything they need here, haven't they? Yeah, they have. I'm really impressed. That, that was one thing that I said to Jason as soon as I came here. You know, the club's got a lot of history and you can see that within the facility as well. So, yeah, I'm really, really, really impressed with it. I think we've got everything that we, we need and probably more. It's just up to us now to maximise that. You mentioned you came in. Do you feel the buzz around the place coming from the outside into the club? We ended the season really well, obviously. Season ticket sales are up. Do you feel that coming in as the new head coach with a real buzz around the club? Yeah, I do. I think it's really important as well. You know, I feel that from the group. Some of the players that I've spoken to, they're really happy here. And I think they're feeling that and that's what's most important as well. I think we've got a duty now to make sure that we do our part and play our part within that and make sure that continues. You've come in, obviously, having been at Catalan Dragons as Steve McNamara's assistant. How has that time in France you know, prepared you for this role and how has it sort of developed you as a coach? Yeah, unbelievable. Um, I can't speak highly enough of the place or, or of Steve. The people there are fantastic. Um, you know, I, lo I love the club, there's no secret about that. I'm just hopeful that I can come and bring some of that to, to Bradford as well. I think it's a, an exciting time for me as a coach, an exciting time for the club as well. Um, really proud to be, to be here and I'm really proud to have been part of the Catalan Dragons as well. Um, you know, that hasn't stopped. I've still got great relationships with, with Steve and the rest of the staff there and I know that they're really keen for us to do well and they'll help us if we need to as well. Great stuff. The majority of the squad are sticking around, Lee Greenwood sticking around as well. That makes things easier for you, I'm sure, to come in. You don't have to worry about putting loads of pieces together. You can just build on what was achieved this year. Yeah, definitely. That was one thing that was really important to me, You know, recognising how well the team did and the club was doing last year. And that's due to the people that are here. So I'm really happy that we've managed to keep majority of the squad together. I think we've done really well in adding to that as well, which was important. And in terms of the staffing, I'm really happy. I've got already a really good relationship with Lee. I spoke to him probably on a weekly basis when I was in France as well. I think he did a tremendous job alongside Nobby. I'm really looking forward to working with Nobby again. It's been some time. I was a young lad at Wigan when I last worked with him. But you know, like I said before, it's a really exciting time at the club. I'm glad that there's not been too much change. I just think it's important that we add little bits to that now and so we can reach our potential. In regards to the players, are there any more plates spinning out there, any more irons in the fire you can tell us about or are we pretty much you know, there and thereabouts? No, look, what I can say is I'm really happy with, with where we're at in terms of the squad, but that doesn't mean that we won't add to the squad if needed. You know, I think we'll always be looking to add quality if we can, but if we're to start training tomorrow, I'm really happy with where we're at. In terms of the way the players are going to be expected to play or asked to play this year, you mentioned, I think, with Dan Smith, his past selection will be really important to the style of play you want to play. Can you expand on how the Bradford Bulls are going to look next year? Oh, look, certainly building on what, what they already do. Uh, you know, I've been really impressed. I watched a lot of the games while I was in France, so it's important that you know, I recognise that as the head coach and know that we've got a good base. Yeah, of course, I want to add little bits to that. You know, I think in terms of some of the recruitment, uh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll be able to play a little bit more, but for me as a coach, it's about understanding what we want to do, and we do that by nailing the fundamentals and getting that right first. You know, I mentioned it before in the interview, it's a really exciting time for me. It's not a new start, but maybe a, a, a fresh start. Um, so we'll see how we go in pre-season. We'll look to, to build on the fundamentals. and the, I've got certain things that I want to do, but we have to make sure that we, we can nail those fundamentals and them key areas first before we, we build on that. Pre-season, there's a couple of weeks away yet. What do the players have to look forward to or to fear maybe when they come in on that first day? No fear. Um, I want to get them connected. I want them to be excited about coming in. Um, you know, I've reached out to the majority of them now, uh, told them what we're going to do. We're going to meet and we're going to have a night uh, the Friday before we start. For me, it's really important that we connect as a group before we, we start training. So we've got a few things planned from there on the, on the Friday. They can go and spend some time together. And then on Monday when we come in, again, it will be just about us reconnecting. We've got some good time before Christmas, before we break up. Um, 
but again, you know, it should be really interesting. I'm sure, you know, we've got some good professionals in there. The boys will be, you know, looking forward to starting training. Of course, there'll be elements of it where it's tough, but the biggest part for me first is getting us connected, and now hopefully that will transfer onto the field when we play. And just finally, as the head coach, you're going to have a very large and loyal legion of supporters behind you. you know, how important are they going to be? We saw towards the end of this season just how powerful it can be and the difference it can make. It must be great for you knowing you've got that big group of supporters behind you. Yeah, they're going to be huge for us. They're going to be really important. You know, and I think we've got our part to play in that to make sure that when they come and watch us on a Sunday afternoon, they can be, feel proud about what we're producing. We spoke about it before. We referenced the York game. I was in France watching that and you know I could feel the atmosphere from that as well so and it certainly has an impact on the team which they've told me themselves when I've spoken to them so you know I want it to be a, a place where everyone wants to play and the opposition fear as well and they're going to play a huge part in that.